Right, heading away for the, the uh, holidays, needn't cost a fortune, head to one of Doc's 200 campsites and you'll find yourself in some of our most scenic spots. Doc Ranger Rebecca Gibson is here with all you need to know about setting up camp. This week it's the North Island. That's right. Next yes. week it will be the South Islanders. Don't take that personally, South Island. We could have gone any which way. We drew straws on it. Uh, Rebecca, you've got 200 camps. How do they vary, firstly? Um, yeah, well, our campsites range from service campsites down to basic. So we have um, campsites for in, anyone who wants to head into the bush, sort of in back country, or you've got your motor camp style campsites right at the top of the range. But most of the ones we're going to talk about today are actually we class as scenic campsites. Okay, so you break it down to scenic, standard, basic, back country, and great walk. That's the one. Yeah. So can you just fill me in on? So we've got scenic means obviously what it stands for. Yes. Yeah. Um, standard. Standard has is, is got basic facilities, so it's only really got toilets and running water, okay. and that's all that's there. They don't have shelters and things like that at them. And the basic is you'll be getting your um, water from a stream or a nearby lake or something like that with one toilet or two toilets at that site. So they are basic. Cool. And backcountry? <laughs> yeah. Backcountry, quite often there's only a toilet and that's it, and you're kind of committed to taking everything with you. And Great Walk, obviously there are Great Walks around. There. Uh, yeah, the Great Walk, um, there's sort of campsites that are linked to the Great Walks in some right. places, yeah, but um, generally they're well serviced. So mm. This sounds, I mean, it, it, it can, it depends how you look at it, right? Because I've just done a happiness segment, I'm looking at it really positively. Oh yeah, And I'm Great thinking fun. this is proper camping. It you know? is, it is. It's what uh, Kiwis, you know, we grew up doing this sort of camping and it's good to see that it's actually coming back. It's um, a really affordable family holiday. So you can take a family f of four on holiday and you've got two adults, so it's $10 for each adult, $5 for a child, um, up to 17 years old. So you end up with, um, well, you know, $30 really, really a night. Price. Yeah, and you're in one of the most stunning places in the country. Is that a flat rate across those different campsites or do they vary? That's for the scenic campsites. Okay. So the serviced ones can be a little bit more. They're only about $15 for an adult. And then you go right down to your basic campsites, which are $5 a night. But yeah. you've done all the great walks. You've done all the, all the camping. You are a dock ranger. You've wanted to be a dock ranger since you were seven. <laughs> That's right. All right. <laughs> what should I bring when I go camping? Come on, give me the top things okay. that you are not without on one of these you're campsites. You're not without food. <laughs> <laughs> right. And if you're partial to a drink, yeah, you take that as well. Oh, there was me yeah. expecting flint <laughs> and purification tablets, but no, I'm with you there. Yeah, um, don't forget your tent, obviously, so you'll need something over you. Um, some of our campsites, it's a good idea to actually have um, added cover, like um, maybe a big umbrella or, or various bits and pieces that you want to take with you and, and seating and things like that, because it is, um, you know, you're, you're on a beach, you're sitting there on the grass. One up you know, fold up chair. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yep. You've selected the four of the four of the best, the top four in the North Island. Okay, you can <laughs> well, we oh, not say go. the top four. Alright. <laughs> yeah. um, talk me through the first one. Your first offering. Okay, um, up at Mimi Whangata Coastal Park we have Waikahoa Bay, which is a beautiful bay. Um, it's a stunning spot. Actually that one is Oh, that's Puriri Bay, same spot, but <laughs> um, yeah, beautiful spot, Pahutakawa trees all around, lovely swimming, snorkelling, uh, beautiful coastal walks that you can do as, as well, which is great. So how far is this from Auckland, this one? It's about three and a half hours, the one up in, in Northland, yeah, Mimi Whangata. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely stunning. Yeah. Um, what that is that kind of like a beach kayaking holiday kind of thing? That you're Definitely. Of? Lots walks? of swimming, walking, yeah, listen to the native birds, there's... Um, Kiriru around and um, North Island brown kiwi up there as well. Wow. Yeah, that you can hear at night. Right, we better move on. Uh, your next offering, I've been there and I've camped there. Yeah. Right on the water, in the middle of nowhere, and it was phenomenal. Yeah, Port Jackson, mm. right at the top of the Coromandel. Beautiful spot. It's um, one of the places where families love to go. It's very sheltered and um, good swimming, so it's definitely ideal for the family camping. But do book because it does get busy. It, does that go yeah. across the board for it most of these? It much does in peak season. We um, make sure that um, people can book. There's, we've actually got this brochure here that's out. That's the um, North Island Campsites brochure. And that is ideal for checking to see we book online or phone numbers that you can Okay, and whether um, you can bring to. dogs or not as well, because a lot of these yes. you can't bring dogs. Yes. So Very next, quickly, because yeah. I want to just go, Bay of Plenty. Yep, so Dickie's Flat, you can take dogs to that one, actually. Great. And that's between Waihi and Te Araroa. Right, so you've Beautiful got the, spot. the gorge, the river, old yep, gold swimming, mining. Heaps of swimming. walking. Yep. And the final one was Wellington. 
Much with Soames, yeah. And a lot of people don't know you can actually camp there. You so, can camp there. Yeah, so you can actually take a ferry across Wellington Harbour, Harbour. Um, book a campsite there, beautiful pest-free island, so make sure you don't pack any seeds or rats or mice in your baggage. <laughs> and, um, yeah, lovely place to stay. Oh, can I have the leaflet? <laughs> you can. You've sold me. Yeah. <laughs> For more on the dogs' campsites, head to our website. But we've got to rush across to Jeanette now. Well, no, it's an amazing one.